Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 28 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, Nikita Al Capone Kralov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think you're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Big hole for what's land. Now we get back to range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. And they separate. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice strike. He is all about that left kick to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Just out of range with that right hook. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Right, come on. Come on. Kick out. Try to establish that jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good night if that landed. Nice punch by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks the shot to the body. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big power shot there. Goes back to that left kick once again. Final seconds here of round one. Big head kick lands. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Let's get this together. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him guns of blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, huge head kick. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, a 
and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Just misses with that one. Connects with the right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from now. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, slips to avoid the right. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, huge block! Ooh, big shot man. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Cable inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. I mean, he's cutting them down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Look at the turtle in that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Missed with that attempt. Just a slip there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Big kick. Right hand upstairs. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. 
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just unable to quite find that ring. Unable to connect with a rifle. Big punch land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily do it. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Beautiful knee. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Good punch, land. And we got a fight on our hands. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, and he caught the kick. Great kicks there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punch over the top. Speed of the body, very nice. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Big knee to the body. And they separate. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body and a quick entry to get Man, it on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam kick on that. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 20 seconds left. Nice leg kick land. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Great punch. 
nice body kick right under the elbow. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Beautiful strike. Real nice body kick lands. And he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. What a tricky head kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Scoop and shoot. What a punch. Big body kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Liver kick. Straight right, he misses. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just over three minutes to go. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Big body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Two minutes remain in the round. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Slips the shot. What a right hand by this young man. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in the video game comes down to who's button matches and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button press and learn how to play the game. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying here. Round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, 
he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. 15 seconds. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice punch there. Lands the right hand. Big kick land. Right punches there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And both guys really throwing with authority. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Nice straight punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Hands higher, hands higher. Big kick. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Nice leg kick. A nice one-two there. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh, man. That, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It will not feel good. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, what a punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at that leg. Relax. Able to check that kick as well. Sneaky head kick. Plus right hand is true. Well, he is completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not 
sure if he's lost his will to continue, but might be time to just put that controller down and take a breather. I mean, he's going to keep pressing those buttons as long as he can. You got to get him out of there if you're winning, because he's going to keep on button mashing. Right now, the button mashing becomes even more dangerous because he's like a Wolverine that you corner, and now all you can do is fight to try to win. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. 15 seconds lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. And they separate. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for decision the judges score the contest 49 46 50 45 and 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what